So the presenter I've chosen to analyse based on his performance as a radio and television broadcaster is Mike Hosking. And Mike holds quite a strong television and radio presence. And because of the controversial topics he often speaks about, he's hard to ignore and often he's hard to agree with as well. And I found that by watching an interview he did with Horne Harawido, it was clear that he's a very strongly opinionated man and he definitely speaks his mind and often he can be very blunt about it, especially with his quick words and his fire responsive responses he gives off. And it kind of irritated me that he interrupted a lot during the interview with Horne because it made it seem like Mike was determined to undermine him. And to me it seemed that Mike wasn't communicating with Horne on equal grounds and he didn't respond well to his interviewee and I feel that as communicators it's important if we want to be effective and he speaks very quickly and it can be hard to keep up with his train of thought but the way he expresses his words through through his gestures and the changes in his tone of voice and the pronunciation of every word his voice projection projection and volume and the strong confidence he has in his tone of voice suggests that he is very skilled in the performance of communication that goes along with being a presenter. His body language suggests that he holds himself quite highly as well, and it makes him appear extremely confident but slightly arrogant to the audience as well. And he is expressive with his facial features, but as he was a radio host first, I feel that his voice is definitely his most effective tool and Mike Hosking certainly has his own distinctive voice and which he uses as a way to communicate clearly and effectively with New Zealand while still maintaining his own views, thoughts and ideas.